Next, I'll just bring to you Ursula, who's an actual graduate fellow, to share with you some of her perspectives. Thanks, Lindrick. All right, so as Lindrick mentioned, I am here to share with you my story as a graduate fellow in this program. So, uh, my name is Ursula. I'm a third year graduate student in chemical engineering pursuing my PhD, and I've been involved with this program for two years. This program has um, allowed me to become a scientist and engineer in residence. I spend 10 hours a week in two elementary schools in Brooklyn. And I divide my time between both the classroom and an after-school robotics team. So not only do I help enhance existing curriculum, um, I also help use that curriculum in a very concrete way with the after-school robotic, robotics program. The students are not only having their education enhanced by me bringing my enthusiasm and excitement for science and my own research into the classroom, but also by applying that in the after-school robotics program. So it's a really nice marriage of uh, both um, experiential and applied engineering for students. Um, and it provides a really compelling uh, educational experience for the students because they get to see someone who's a real scientist and engineer coming into their classroom, coming in with their enthusiasm for their own research, seeing that you don't need horn-rimmed glasses or a bow tie. I look horrible in both um, in order to enjoy <laughs> science and engineering. And that also leads into another really important facet, dispelling myths and stereotypes about what a scientist and engineer looks like and who a scientist and engineer is. So it's a really wonderful role for me to be able to show these students that if you like science and engineering, which they do, um, you can be a scientist and engineer, and that it's a really fun thing that you can do in your life. And so to further that, um, to equip me with the ability to better do that, this program provides me with pedagogical training. This program provides me with presentation skills training. So, as a scientist and engineer, before this program, I didn't really get out of the lab much. Um, and this program forces you to learn how to communicate science and engineering. It provides you with opportunity after opportunity, 10 hours a week in the classroom, many hours outside of that, making presentations, going to conferences like this, learning to present to a non-science audience. And with that, it really helps drive home the importance of STEM to society, not just because I think it's cool, not just because I think it's interesting, but seeing the effect that generating enthusiasm for STEM has on kids, seeing them become ambitious about something that, in my generation growing up, it's like, oh, that's, that's kind of nerdy. So it's, it's really cool to see these changes in attitudes with kids that are 10, 8, 9, these really young, enthusiastic kids becoming ambitious and driven about something that I don't think they maybe realize is so important to their futures and the country's futures. And personally, I also get the benefit of their creativity. This chid, the kids ask me these really crazy, far out there questions. They get me thinking about my research in a new way. And I don't say that as a, oh, yeah, that happens. No, it really happens. The, the most interesting questions come from kids who have no idea that my work in DNA biosensors, they, they only have a feel. They have a, a sense of what I do, and it's really enriching for me as a graduate student to be able to participate in this. And with that, I'll hand it off to 